Welcome to the Green Chair Interviews. Today we have Lisa Howard from the Faculty of Health Sciences. Welcome, Lisa. Thank you, Alyssa. Um, today we would like to ask you, what is your philosophy of teaching? Well, my philosophy of teaching is that students learn when they're engaged, uh, when they have an investment, and when they feel like they belong. So I believe that uh, in the classroom that there are three parties. There are the students, myself, and the topic. And my role as a facilitator of learning is to introduce the students to the topic. And I do that as if I were introducing them to a friend. Mm. And then from there, they engage in a relationship with the topic, and I find ways to challenge them, um, maybe provoke the students a little bit, and let that topic show up and startle us out of our traditional ways of thinking and bring something new for us. So. I believe that the learning environment is a collaborative one between myself, the students, and the topic. Oh, that's great. So um, in introducing your topic and bringing your students in your class, how, what would you say a typical class setting would look like? Okay, my typical class setting is uh, I have, uh, depending on the type of class, I'll have 24 to 60 students in a class. Uh, my classes are arranged so that students are sitting at groups and tables, and the groups are between five and six in size. Okay. So we'll have a mini lecture, small group discussion, large group debrief, and in there there may be some videos, poetry, um, short story, or uh, we may even have a guest speaker come in. Wow, nice. That sounds really interactive. It is. Um, so in your class then, can you maybe share with us some things that have worked really well in your experience? I think there's three things, regardless of the class type, content, or size that I'm working with. The first thing is to create a community. So in building a sense of community, what works really well for me is that I do have the students work in groups, groups of five to six. And these are groups where the students get to know one another. And I do that because building a sense of community, when the students come to class and they have that group of people that they know, there are some familiar faces that are waiting for them. Mm -hmm. The second thing is to um, engage students or help students have an investment in that learning community. And how I do that is, um, in one of my courses, the students pick all of the topics, all of the material that we're going to cover for that particular course. In other courses, they may pick two or three weeks of the material. So they have an investment in the content of that course. The other thing that I do is create and sustain an atmosphere of engagement and critical thinking. And I do that by having the students go to the readings, uh, the scholarly re readings with some questions. Okay. But I also ask them to uh, link those things to their real life experiences because students learn when they can make sense of it in their own lives. Wow, that sounds really wonderful. I love it. Very engaging. Um, it, it sounds like maybe a lot of work. Can you maybe just tell us how you best prepare for all that you have so much going on, it sounds so great. So how do you, how do you best prepare for your, for your class? You know, it sounds like there's an awful lot going on, but what the biggest thing to do is to surrender to the topic and let the topic come forward and get out of the way of the topic or the students as they start to encounter the topic. So I'm always checking myself. Am I getting in the way of things? Am I butting in a little bit too much? Am I trying to explain things rather than just letting the students work it through? I do need to come in and summarize or maybe ask a few questions to prompt the students to move along. Okay, wonderful. That sounds great. I love the sense of community that you have going. That's so wonderful. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Lisa. It was great having you here. Thank you, Lisa. It was great to be with you. Thanks.